Back here to Great Day at 9A. Okay, did you see the latest Top Gun? I know I didn't either, but Ooh. if you're, I know, I know, super behind How on How are we going to do this segment? If you're a daredevil, though, are you a daredevil? I'm, well, no, not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm a borderline, I guess. If you maybe dream about flying fighter jets, or maybe you just wanted to learn about them. Fly into the <laughs> danger zone. Okay, you know that. All right, well, did you know that there are ways you can discover the possibilities of flight right here in our state? Yeah, let's send it right over to Marcy Jones, who is joining us now live at the New England Air Museum in East Granby to tell us all about the things that they have to offer. Hey, Marcy. Hi guys, that's absolutely right. I'm so excited to be here at the New England Air Museum. I'm here with my new best friend, Stephanie yes. Abrams, president and CEO. Now I am completely out of my wheelhouse here. I don't know anything about aircrafts, but thankfully I've got the most glamorous tour guide who knows everything about some of these <laughs> ama truly amazing truly, They are amazing, they yes they really are. They really are, and there's so much to see, and I feel like there's something for everybody. There is, absolutely. And I'm going to show you some very yes, incredible. Let's do a walk and talk. But first, I want to show you we have a brand new F-18 yep. simulator, which you might want to just show over this way here. It gives people the experience of flight. Mm -hmm. I haven't landed on the aircraft carrier yet, but I will get wow. there, and we're going to get you in there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so should we should I show you? Yes, what absolutely. Okay. Okay. So it's almost overwhelming, Stephanie, just because there's so much to see and the volume and how big some of these guys are. It's incredible. Yeah, especially since I'm such a big person. It really <laughs> makes sense that I'm I know. Here. Watch your head. I yeah. This I, is yeah, I never worried. So anyway, so this is our military hangar. Okay. And we have some incredible aircraft. This yeah. uh, it looks like it should not fly. Uh, one of our board <laughs> members actually flew it in Vietnam. Incredible. Anyway, so this is all military. Okay. Let me take you through one of our newest exhibits. Yeah. Oh, let's as, do that. While we're passing here, um, this is our command exhibit. Okay. Which also has augmented reality. So when you have our, um, you could just pull up when you wave here, our docents come up. So if it's, Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you bring a little technology into this. You oh, got the QR codes. Exactly. So okay. if a docent isn't around, um, they come to life. That's and incredible. I love how you guys are really making this interactive. So it's not yeah. a traditional museum setup where it's don't touch, don't play, don't this. You're really bringing the, the viewer, the audience member into what's happening. Very much. I mean, we have a world-class collection, but also it's important. We wanted to integrate the stories of the men and women behind the aircraft who, right. I mean, the human genius that designed it. Like, yeah like command, um, the people who tested them, the people who fought in them, mm -hmm. especially in this hangar. Sometimes when I'm here by myself at night, you can kind of feel the ghost of yeah. the people who flew. I know. And you know what? It does get emotional, too, because you does. see their faces. You yes. see where they started, where they ended up. Exactly. And it does. It really kind of gets you sometimes because you think how hard a lot of them had to fight, like where we are right now. Exactly. With right. women so in aviation. Yes, New England women in aviation. So it starts with the earliest aviators. Mm -hmm. And if you look, um, I mean, Ruth Law is one of my heroes. She strapped herself into that contraption and flew in the winter in Chicago. Incredible. And broke flight records, as you can see. She yeah. Longest flight record a woman ever made. She corrected. I've made the longest flight an American has ever made. <laughs> yes, honey. A woman after my own heart. Yeah. And then we go through kind of what was the glamorous area of Amelia Earhart right. and the golden age of aviation. And then this one went researching this part. These are the wasps, and mm -hmm. they were incredible. I mean, they were in World War II, and as you can see in this sign here, they, the B-29 was intimidating, and so the women delivered the B-29s. Yeah, they were like, you know what, guys? We got this. Exactly. This is the heavy lifting. This is a job for the women. Absolutely. And, right. and then into blazing new trails of women becoming commercial pilots and becoming, mm -hmm. and getting um, into the military and being aviators. And then we finish here with the women who are creating the future of aerospace, the astronauts, and this is one of my faves. So this. So cool. Oh, it, it's incredible. So this is Dr. Dava Newman uh, from MIT, mm -hmm. and she has designed, this is the spacesuit of the future, and it's wow. probably what people will wear on Mars. Okay. These are sensors that, you know, keep track of right. like, bodily All functions. Right, But you can move in it, and this is actually an augmented reality experience. So once no again, way. if you hold your tablet or your phone, it takes a picture so you can see yourself in this Oh, that phase, is so cool. Which for kids, I wanted kids to see themselves yes. in this. 
Um, and think, hey, maybe one day you could be in this exactly. field. That's and, incredible. So it's incredible. And so, and she walks around and shows you how, for an EVA and extravehicular activity, <laughs> um, that you can bend. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have, we're about to wrap up, but we are entering into another hangar. Real yes. quick, what okay. is this one all about? This is our civil hangar, and I think probably one of the most remarkable aircraft in here. It's one of my favorites. This is a VS-44. It's a Korsky. It's a wow. It's a flying boat. It is. It's just huge. And it's beautifully restored inside. And yes. It, yes. A true testament to your team. They work so hard. You've got volunteers, docents, workers, restoration guys. All of They these, put their heart and soul into this. All of these 150 volunteers. So our docents wow. are walking encyclopedias. All of these aircraft were restored by our restoration volunteers. Amazing. They Stephanie, I happen. wish we had more time. Guys, how absolutely incredible is this? It's my first time here. For anybody who hasn't been, come on down, visit. There's so much more to see than this. We I, we could go all day and there would we still could. be more to yes, see. But come. thankfully, we've mm -hmm. got another segment coming up. I might get in the flight simulator. We have to get you. Yes, come yes. fly with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Come we'll see you guys in just a little me. bit. Let's fly, let's fly away. Thanks, Marcy. Frank Sinatra now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Have a great, we'll see you in a little bit.